Hello everyone, Sunderak here. So before we get started, listing the five things you should do before the one year anniversary. Um, one thing to quickly note is that just about, I think this morning, Sony released a list of Genshin pictures regarding patch 2.1 on their, I believe, PlayStation app or something like that, basically. Now, of course, I can't exactly show any pictures here and I won't talk too much into detail regarding what is happening exactly because I believe even though Sony released it, it's still considered leaks because Miho haven't officially said anything yet so of course with that said i won't talk about anything here but just letting you guys know that this thing exists so if you're interested you can probably go check it out now with that let's get started so here is going to be the five things you need to do in order to prep so you can have a wonderful one year anniversary for genshin and of course one more thing before we get started best of luck to all wishing for recent characters and future upcoming characters so best of luck to all wishing for your emiya sayu raiden shogun kokomi and sarah with that said, with that said let's get started so of course the first and most important thing hold all your primal gems now unless you want to and you are going to guarantee to spend on characters that for example, if you're going to C6 someone or if you're going for a specific constellation, in that case, this isn't as necessary for you guys. But everyone else, basically, you have to hoard Primal Gems as much as possible because even with the two very powerful banners at the moment, again, I am assuming Raiden and Kokomi because of Mihoyo's official art release, but even with that, they could still switch in, like having a rerun character. Because they have already done that in Lantern Ride, where it was Kaching and Xiao first revealed, and then they randomly added Hu Tao Ying at the end of the time. So if they could basically pull another one of that, they basically release Bao and Kokomi as the official banner, and then they kaboom, they add in a Gong Yu Riva or something. Uh, I'm not hinting at any leaks here, of course, just personal speculation. But again, it's possible they have done it before, So and Lantern Ride is as this, basically the second biggest hot. Lantern Rite is basically corresponding to the second biggest holiday in China, which is the um, Mooncake Festival, so it's possible that they're going to do this again. Not saying they are going to, but there is a possibility. The second one is specifically for those Welcome Moon buyers. Now, if you are going for skins, you should save your Genesis Crystals. Now, I know you don't get a lot for every single Welcome Moon, you only get 300, but if you have a bit of them saved up, it's easy to get one of these skins for free because I believe that uh, not for free to get one of these skins because I believe that um, it is going to be very likely they are going to release at least one new skin for patch 2.1 given that it's a big holiday and on top of that they might just um, make it at a discounted price again as I've suggested before my guess from my guess is that going to be if they're going to do a Ganyu rerun during 2.1 then what's better than to release a Kachin and the Ganyu skin at the same time Kachin skin will be given out for free just like Barbara's last time because I mean Kachin isn't really playing a lot more more in uh anymore in the spiral bit so that's okay and on top of that gone you skin will be on sale for like the same price as jean skin in basically in the shop that is going to be my prediction on skins now of course with that said no confirmation but still something to good to look into now of course all of you might know what's going to happen by the um live stream tomorrow but just saying this could be something that you might need to look into the third one, of course, is to start farming. Now, of course, we already know that Red and Shogun Kokomi and Sarah is coming next patch. Now, if you're going for any of these characters specifically and you have them guaranteed, it is nice to start farming for their corresponding materials for their character ascension, their artifacts, their talent books, and their weapon ascension materials. Now, of course, I cannot show you which one is for which character here because again that is considered leaks but i'm sure there are lots of websites where you can look this up and things like that so even though i cannot show you here um there's places where you can look them up now of course if you're someone who do not want to get spoiled by leaks and you do not want to look into them uh my advice would be start stocking up condensed resins from the battle pass and on top of that start stocking up sorry start stocking up fragile resin from the battle pass and on top of that start stacking up condensed resin and also make sure you stock up to two transient resin the two weeks before and the week before the patch release so by the time patch release you will have at least two transient resin which means 120 more resin than normal people ready so by that time instead of you know farming them ahead of time you can just farm them all on the first date and just uh, speed run that as well that also works 
the fourth tip I want to give plows through the ground basically what I mean um, basically farm every single chest on the map now of course you don't have to do every single chest but my recommendation would to be get exploration to a hundred percent now um, I have exploration at a hundred percent on everywhere but technically speaking I, I'm still missing about five to ten percent of the chest on all three islands now of course with that said 100% exploration rate doesn't really mean 100%. However, the point is that the exploration rate, you're going to get more ele more electro sigils with more chests you open. And the electro sigils are tied to the level of the Divine Sakura Tree. The Sacred Sakura Tree's level is also tied to the level of the Electro Granum. Now, with the opening of potentially opening up more map, I believe that they are going to make the level of electrogranum a uh, gated material for the map so basically you need higher than a specific level in order to enter the area and of course with that said the last thing you want to do is having the new map unlocked but you cannot enter because you do not have enough level so with that said i believe that it's best that if you start farming out the chest on the map to make sure you are at the best state so that when the map opens you are able to do as much as you can and explore freely personally for me i am at level 20 for the Sacred Sakura Tree already and I have around 100 Electro Sigils on top ready to hand in once the level cap increases again. The first one and uh, it's the least important one is the free alloy thing. Now of course um, PS players are getting free alloy as soon as patch 2.1 release and PC players and mobile players have to wait one more patch. Now of course with that said you might be able to ask a friend of yours who own a PS or PlayStation and in that case they can log on for you using your account and you can claim your alloy that way. Personally I do not know how it works exactly but I have heard that it's possible and of course my biggest advice with this is do make sure it's someone you trust not some random stranger on the internet because account security is a huge deal for Genshin given how much time and effort you put into each one of your accounts so do make sure you choose even though you want to choose this route and to get alloy early do make sure that your accounts are in safe hands and finally before we end just want to say for tomorrow's live stream I will not be able to live stream it to you guys because um, I have work in the morning but um, so enjoy the live stream happy early 2.1 live stream video basically and on top of that good luck to all wishing for future upcoming characters thank you very much for watching if you like the content please consider subscribing if you can leave a comment it will be very helpful basically anything works as long as you know you're not trash talking me um even if you do that it's probably fine um that's all i have for you today thank you very much for watching if you like the content please consider subscribing thank you and have a nice day